where Mike Tyson's in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Last boxing competition for him against Kevin McBride in 2005. He loves this mixed martial arts stuff. You know about his appetite for competition. This feel, this felt like an eventuality. Tyson on the biggest stage tonight. Yeah, it always felt like Mike Tyson would make his way here because he loves fighting so much. He loves mixed martial arts so much. But if you ever thought a guy could cross over from boxing with the athleticism, you thought it was Iron Mike Tyson. He was so fast, he was so gifted. He's an A-plus athlete. And if he commits himself to the wrestling like he did boxing, I imagine Tyson will find a lot of success inside the octagon. Once the baddest man on the planet, trying to realize that distinction again, albeit in a different combat sports setting. We'll see how it goes for Iron Mike Tyson. So here he is, one of a handful of two division champions in UFC history. This might be the most handsome guy on the roster, Daniel Cormier, back to the proving ground here tonight. And he's got the body of a goddess. Look, <laughs> look at this guy as he walks to the octagon. Phenomenal wrestler, Olympian, a page of accolades that are unmatched by anyone in the UFC. <laughs> two division champion, phenomenal striker. Just the best wrestler the UFC has ever seen. And look at that hairline. Has this guy been visiting LeBron's barber? Because it seems to be growing in reverse. You got the best skin fade in the business. Actually, his parents wanted to name him Adonis Corner. <laughs> DC sounded better than AC. But joking aside, this is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. You are that with futures in the Hall of Fame, but you got a big one in front of you here tonight. It'll be a big fight, but I expect Daniel Cormier to get his hand raised. <laughs> for this heavyweight fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, DC, we'll see what you have for Mike Tyson here tonight. I know you guys have spent some time together, but you told that friendship. What I've got for Mike Tyson is a healthy serving of double and single legs because it's all wrestling all the time as Daniel Cormier takes on Mike Tyson. The one thing you got to know is you got to be smart when you're in there with Iron Mike. And the only way to be smart is not to be on your feet. This will be a good fight. level guard pass there. So, oh, now he's attacking on trying. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Big ground and pound. Tyson's pass attempt denied. There it is. Now he's going to pound. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Tyson. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, how about the 
of speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Get them out here. This is a terrible position. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, that arm triangle's wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. Oh, come on, I'd be tapping. That's got to be it. Working on Ezekiel choking, he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Cormier. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Cormier's able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. That was a slick transition. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Cormier. This is where he wants to be. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by DC. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Submission defense holds up, he gets out. He Work said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up, yes. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Awesome, nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the rest of that. Oh, nice double there, yes. Oh, in the mouth. Waning seconds here of this opening round. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. the end of round one. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent Ready from fight. the top position. Ready. Second yeah. round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you spoke a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern-day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it in the old-school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the octagon, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers, until eventually you're going to turn to your knees, he'll take your neck and choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's, it's crazy to watch him dictate his opponent's actions with his power from this position. Not many guys can generate that type of right. power. you got to go back to guys like Mark Munoz. They used to call him the Filipino smashing machine yeah. because he was so good with his ground and pound, and this guy shows that same exact type of approach. He's got to be careful here. If you're
you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Ooh, this could be it, that thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, favoring position over submission. Very smart decision. You never want to value the submission over keeping dominant position. Well, as many expected, his grappling has been very strong thus far. The takedowns, the ground control, he is truly the total package. It's one thing to take your opponent down. It's one thing to control him, as we have seen him do over the course of this fight. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be... Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. He needs fighter better move. move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Cormier's right back to the full mount. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Relentless pressure from the top by Cormier. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Cormier's got his back yet again. The ground strike's starting to pile up. The hard ground upon is paying dividends. He has opened up a cut. Good work with the ground and pound here by Cormier. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Great work here from the bottom fighter. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, looks like he's got the sub locked in. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the ring. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground. And oh! Oh! Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take too many of those uppercuts. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Good jab lands there. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. here tonight as you can see the years of repetitions in the gym to set it up and ultimately get the tap there great technique to set up the finish all right let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight champ just watch how slowly he approaches the submission though he never rushes he takes his time but it's his trickiness it's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishes fights all right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Daniel D.C. Cormier! All 
right, Daniel Cormier, your winner by submission. This man has always had great offensive jiu-jitsu, and his opponent paid the ultimate price tonight. A lot of times it comes down to the pressure of Cormier. 